Welcome to the Squad Vehicle Guide for the British Army. I'm making this guide after the release of version 1.0 and I'm doing it so that more people who are new to the game have a way to learn about the vehicles without having to play the game or read the wiki. Now this is not an in-depth guide. This is not going to be half hour long. This is going to be quick rapid fire analyses of the British Army vehicles so that you know what they look like and what they do. I'm not going to explain logistics. I'm not going to explain all the mechanics. I'm just going to talk about each individual vehicle and I'm going to include some vehicles from the roadmap that haven't released into the game yet. The objective of this is to teach you how to identify vehicles to know what they do. This is mostly for beginners. I'm not going to explain logistics. There are other videos made by other people that are made better to explain the core mechanics better. This video is about quick British vehicles. I'm also going to do the other factions if I get around to it. This is the first in a series. I chose the Brits because they have relatively easy vehicles, so let's get started. Alright, so starting off with the British, the British really like tracked vehicles and they also like to make their own stuff. There's not a whole lot of variety here. Uh, that is vehicles from other nations. They mostly like their own stuff. Let's get started with logistics. The MAN HX transport truck is the standard transport and logistics truck of the British Army. This being a British vehicle, the driver sits on the right side of the cab. Standard European truck, We've got a very flat face, no big engine block, four wheels down below instead of the usual six. Carries 3,000 points of supplies. I'm going to assume you already know how logistics works. Uh, rear accommodations are pretty spartan. You're literally just sitting on crates and there's no cover at all to protect you from enemy fire. Not that these vehicles have very much anyway. And it comes in desert and forest camo schemes. Uh, not a whole lot else to say. The Australians also use this vehicle. Theirs is a camouflage scheme and the driver sits on the left side of the cab. And the Bundeswehr mod has showcased their man truck in four different camouflage schemes. Definitely going to be seeing a lot more of this vehicle as more factions roll into the game. But other than that, uh, let's move on to the scout vehicles. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Okay, so I know this vehicle isn't actually in the game yet, but uh, it's in the roadmap. You know, we know the British are getting it, so I'm just going to cover it very quickly. It's a British MRAP. Not a whole lot to say. It's a light vehicle, lightly armored, mine resistant, ambush protected, light armament, generally pretty quick, low tickets. You probably get a couple of them in the spawn zone, main base. Not a whole lot else to say. It's a light vehicle. I guess it's nice that the British are getting an MRAP, since now you can take a vehicle that isn't the Bulldog. It's pretty quick, it's wheeled, not a whole lot else to say. It's Foxhound. Yeah, this vehicle is also on the road map, it hasn't been put in the game yet, but we know the Brits are getting it, so I'm going to cover it very quickly. As you can see from this footage, it's basically a light scout vehicle. It's not a tank, don't call it a tank, it doesn't have nearly as much armor as a tank should. It is a combat vehicle reconnaissance tracked scimitar. The cannon is the same cannon that is in the Warrior, and we'll talk about that cannon when we get to the Warrior, but it at least makes more sense on this vehicle. Very light, very, very quick, like a powerful engine and light armor. This thing can go pretty bloody fast. This footage doesn't really show it because they're always turning around the circle, but this thing can get some pretty crazy top speed. I can definitely see this vehicle being used as a Lodgy hunter or hunting for light vehicles, like a scout car but with an auto cannon and tracked. It's interesting to see, it feels a weird niche in the game, but I can definitely see these things being useful for the British faction. It gives you some hitting power that's not the warrior. Anyway, we'll move on. Okay, so the Bulldog is the British Armored Personnel Carrier of choice. It is tracked, it's got pretty good armor all around, it's got an open top 50 cal on one variant, and the other variant gets a remote weapon system light machine gun that can't hurt vehicles. Don't shoot it at vehicles. The 50 cal obviously can hurt vehicles, but it's open top exposed, you get way less range, way less ability to hit targets way out there. Uh, important thing to remember is that the version with the remote weapon system, you need crewman kits to drive. The variant with the open top, you do not need crewman kits to drive or operate the weapons. So if you're an infantry squad lead and you want to take some armor and you don't want to fuck around with other squads or take crewman kits out of your own squad, take the open top one. This is a pretty quick vehicle. It's surprisingly fast. Uh, onto the warrior. I am not a spectator! I am a warrior! Okay, so the warrior comes in two variants. One's got low armor, one's got high armor. You can see very clearly which one is which. 
The main problem with this vehicle is the armament. The weapon is not good. The Rarden cannon is subpar. It's manually loaded. There's no anti-tank guided missiles. The turret has no stabilization for the gunner or the commander, so the commander is basically useless. The only thing this thing's got going for it is that it can carry a decent number of people, and it's got pretty decent armor. The rear door here is like a really weak spot, by the way, just a heads up. It's like red compared to the rest of the vehicle's white level armor. Go to Jensen's range if you want to learn more. We're moving on to the Challenger. This thing's not that great. It's outclassed by everything else in the game. Except for maybe the BTR-82. That one's not that much better. Uh, we'll move on now to the final vehicle. Are you challenging me? Challenger 2, main battle tank of the British Army. Great gun with armor-piercing sabo, heat rounds, and smoke rounds. One of the only tanks to get smoke rounds. Fast, efficient, high top speed, excellent armor profile, commander optics with stabilization, high powered optics too. You got a loader seat that gets a machine gun. It's only a light machine gun, so you can't hurt vehicles with it, but it can shoot at infantry threats. You use hunter-killer system between commander and gunner. Everyone in this tank is safe inside the vehicle. It's just a great all-around battle tank. Not a whole lot bad to say about it. Great. Okay, so the British are currently using the Blackhawk as a placeholder, but they will be getting the Puma HC2 as their standard utility helicopter. It's in the roadmap, so it is coming. The Puma is a little bit bigger than the Blackhawk, so we might see an increased ability to carry perhaps a few more troops, maybe more supplies. It is larger, it's an easier target. I'm thinking two machine guns out either door, probably British L6s, light machine guns. Not a whole lot to say about this, I mean, it'll be, we don't have the kind of details we need to make a full decision about whether or not this is a good helicopter. I can guess that it will have more supply carrying capacity from the fact that it is bigger and the, you know, it'd be an interesting way to spice up the faction, not just have all the helicopters just be reskins. But either way, uh, we'll see when the devs finally put this thing into the game. Other than that, uh, that's basically it for all the British vehicles. Okay, so with all the British vehicles covered, I'm going to do a quick recap here. First, the Man HX, Lodgy truck, pretty standard, right, drive on the right side of the road, keep that in mind. Foxhound, British MRAP, light machine gun armament, you know, it is what it is. Scimitar, not in the game yet, could be interesting, you know, not a tank, light scout vehicle with auto cannon. Bulldog, APC, quicker than you'd expect, don't need crewman kits to drive the open top version, decent machine guns, it's an APC. Warrior, uh, infantry fighting vehicle, not that great. Armament is the big letdown, the cannon's got a really slow fire rate, you gotta manually, manually load it, no stabilization, it's just not that good. Challenger 2 makes up for that, great main battle tank, everyone's safe inside the tank, you got smoke rounds, it's just pretty great all around. And finally, the Puma helicopter, it'll probably just be like a standard helicopter, there's not a whole lot of differences, maybe some supply changes and whatnot. But that's it. If you like this video, please like it and tell me what faction you want to see next.